Link unfurling is the process of taking a hyperlink that's been pasted into a message and doing some action based on the result of processing the link. This process allows the developer to do a search or display a card. So in this section, we're gonna see how to add link unfurling to my messaging, my Microsoft Teams app and how to implement this type of messaging extension. We're specifically gonna look at unfurling links and how to implement unfurling message handlers. So what is link unfurling? With link unfurling, your app can register and receive and invoke activity when URLs of a particular domain are pasted into the composed message area. The invoke will contain a full URL that is pasted into the composed message area, and you can respond with a card the user can unfurl, providing additional information or action. This works similarly to a search command with the URL serving as the search term. Now, adding a link unfurling messaging extension follows a similar process as an action command and a search command. You're first going to register the domains that are supported by your messaging extension and then implement the handler in your web service. The first step is to register your link unfurling messaging extension in your Microsoft Teams at manifest file. You're going to do this by adding an entry to the messaging, the message handlers property on the compose extensions property. The type property must be set to a link and the value property must contain uh, a domains collection of domains that the link message handler is going to watch for. If a link is added to the message that matches a domain listed in this collection, the message handler is going to be invoked. In addition to that property, all domains must be listed in the valid domains property of the Microsoft Teams at manifest uh, file as well. When a valid domain is detected by the Microsoft Teams client, the bot framework will send an activity object to your web service of type compose extension slash query link with the URL from the message. Your web service will respond with a similar response as a search command. However, if you return multiple attachments, the only the first one in the collection will be used by the Microsoft Teams client. 